Hey guys, thanks for stopping in. I did some fishing this week and on Wednesday I caught a nice 22 and a half inch striped bass. So in yesterday's video I cooked one of the fillets in cornmeal. So today is Saturday and today what I want to do is try cooking the other fillet on my stovetop cast iron grill, which is something that I've never done. So I'm a little bit worried that it might stick to the grill when I try to turn it, and that might be kind of a disaster. So <laughs> we'll see what happens. Um, let me put the picture of the fish up, and then I'll meet you over here and show you the play, and we'll get cooking. <laughs> So here is the second fillet from that nice fish. Um, it's soaking, I had it in the fridge, soaking in some water with a little spit of salt sprinkled in that. And the reason I do that, I grew up on a dairy ranch. So when I was a kid, I would catch bass and red-eared sunfish, but they always had kind of a muddy taste to them. And what I learned way back then is if I did that, flayed them and then soaked them overnight in the fridge, in some salted water, it would kind of take that muddy taste out of them. So it's just something I always do now. I don't know if these stripers really need that, but it's something I just always do all the time and uh, it's kind of makes the fish taste fresher and uh, you know, it gets any excess blood out of them and stuff and I just think it gives them a fresher, cleaner taste. So I'm gonna rinse that off and cut it in half and then we'll get it onto the cast iron grill. I rinsed off the fish and I patted it dry with a paper towel. Now I'm going to put olive oil on both sides of it. Pretty good coating of it. And I'm going to also rub some oil onto the grill as well because like I said, I'm worried about it sticking. There's not much fat in this fish and if it sticks, then it's probably all going to fall apart. So uh, you get this oiled up good and get the grill oiled up good. And, uh, and we will get it on there and uh, hopefully this will work. I have my burner turned all the way up and the grill's getting pretty hot. It's starting to smoke a little bit. Um, by the way, the olive oil I'm using is the kind for sauteing and grilling. So um, I guess I'll go ahead and get the fish on there. I'm going to put it the outer side of the fish down first. So let's see what happens. Okay. All right, we'll be back in a little bit. All right, it's been about three minutes on that side. Let's see if I'm gonna be able to flip this without it falling to pieces. That one worked. Now let's try this one. Hey, didn't fall apart. <laughs> I'm just going to season it with a little bit of kosher salt and some pepper. It's been about seven minutes total. And see how flaky that is? I think it's done. I'm just gonna shut it off right there. Now let's see if it'll come off of the grill without sticking on that side. Not bad. Well, it didn't fall apart. Now I'm excited to try it. Look how juicy it looks, yum. I didn't, I didn't season it with anything but salt and pepper, so. Uh, let me try it. This fish tastes so good all by itself, you don't really need a lot of seasoning for it. Oh wow, this is so good. You get kind of a nice light smoky taste from the cast iron. That's really good. How does it compare to the cornmeal yesterday? Um, I think it's kind of a toss up. This is really good way to do it too. I'm surprised it didn't fall apart, but man, it sure is good. Wow, this turned out excellent. This is another new way to cook striper. 
I'm really happy with this. It has a nice, kind of a nice smoky taste from that cast iron grill. It's awesome. I wonder how other types of fish would turn out on this. I don't know. Guess I'll have to experiment with some other fish now. But this turned out excellent. Thanks for watching, you guys, and I'll talk to you next time.